Hey, how's it going everybody? Today's a special day because I'm doing my first live uh, meal prep for, uh, I guess, John Jacobs who requested it, but I'm really glad he did because uh, it gives me a shot to, at uh, making uh, something nice for, uh, for myself, for my family, but also uh, pass on some of the knowledge that I've acquired over, over the years, uh, just, you know, figuring out what I like, figuring out how to make it, and then how to actually have food for the entire week. So it's pretty much the bane of every guy's existence when it comes to training and, and, and getting fits. Like, oh man, I'm hungry. Like, how do I how do I plan for this? How do I actually have food all throughout the week, especially for lunches when you're at work, you know, if you're on the job, it's not that easy, right? And the worst thing you can do is just constantly go out and grab, you know, a burger or, you know, some sandwich at a, at a store. Not only is it not very nutritious, but on top of it, you're gonna be spending a fortune. So think about how much you spend, if you do do that, how much you spend a week on just lunches alone. Uh, what I'm gonna show you guys here is just a, a really, really simple, quick and dirty uh, sausage and uh, potato casserole or a sausage and potato mismatch that uh, I started making years ago. And you can literally put anything you want in it. But the basics are essentially um, the sausage and um, and the and the potatoes. So uh, just to go over basically what we're uh, looking at here, um, I've got a really uh, tw a really simple uh, no frill sausage from the grocery store. Um, there's 12 there. Um, I've also got uh, a little bit of extra, and this is what's great about it. I've got a bunch of extra pulled pork that my wife made the other day, and it's freaking awesome. So I've got about uh, 10 ounces of that as well. That's going to go in. And then, of course, I've got my potato. I always opt for sweet potato simply because it's a bit more nutritious. But if you want to go with white potato, that's fine too. You got to get your carbohydrates in. Additionally, when you throw in your veg, I get my veg from the grocery store. I get it cheap because uh, I usually go to the, uh, the aisle where they actually have the stuff that uh, they're selling for half off. Red peppers, green peppers, you name it. Don't pay a fortune for them. Get them super cheap and you can throw in a bunch of those. And your brock, all right? So you throw that all in, uh, you've got your one onion, and I also throw in a bunch of rice. This is uh, risotto rice, but you can use any type of rice you want. You can use uh, quinoa if you like, whatever, uh, it floats your boat uh, to, to bump up the, uh, the amount of carbo carbohydrates you have in that meal. And then I usually cap it all off with a nice tomato sauce uh, on top. So uh, once this is all cooked up, I'm not gonna do it for you guys right now, but I will be uh, putting out a YouTube channel that's gonna give just kind of a basic uh, idea of how to meal prep and what to cook and whatnot for, uh, for those that are uh, training hard and getting back in the game. So uh, at the end of all this, once it's all cooked up, um, you can break them down and throw them into these nice nifty little containers that you have uh, you know, at any grocery store really. Um, they sell them usually in packs of three, they're super cheap. And you can throw those in the freezer and uh, grab them at a later date or you know, throw them in the fridge and then you just have the same thing for lunch for you know, the next week if you're okay with that. This meal alone, all together, uh, if it was cooked up, you get about 3,500 3, calories. So that's, that, obviously you're not gonna eat that all in one sitting. If you split that into six, so six equal portions in these bad boys here, um, you're gonna get about 550, 570 kilocalories per meal, which is a great meal. Uh, you know, like if you're hitting five, 600 calories per meal, that's, that's solid. Plus you're getting about 130 grams of protein, um, you know, uh, per container. That's freaking wicked. Um, so you're really hitting kind of all your macros there, um, in one big shot. So, uh, if you guys want to, you know, uh, have, or if you guys want to send me some ideas of, you know, of, well, Dave, you know, I want to, you know, I want to figure out how to, you know, make, uh, you know, enough egg salad sandwiches for the rest of the day. Or if you have any other, ideas that you want me to go over. Um, I'm gonna keep on posting. I'm gonna to try to do one of these a week. And um, yeah, the more feedback I get, the better it's gonna be for everybody else in the community. And I just wanna give a shout out to uh, Remote Fit Pro. I got my Remote Fit Pro shirt on. Freaking looks good, I think, man. It's tight on my arms, I like it. Um, so you guys, uh, keep, on, uh, keep on sending me the love. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll check back in tomorrow with another Facebook Live post. And uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be crushing this uh, this meal tomorrow for sure. All right guys, have a good day and we'll see you later.